Carla Franklin is a mom of three. She says her passion for parents' rights and education sparked when her son was put into public school. I found that, you know, they couldn't really instruct him well. I had to pull him out. His private school was able to teach him. He's actually reading and doing math at a second grade level. Um, he's starting to talk. Uh, he is making progress that he could never make in Guilford County Schools. Just a few months ago, Franklin launched Moms of Color for School Choice to bring the conversation of charter, private, and homeschool to the table. You know, the achievement test scores, the, the proficiency of our students is not what it needs to be. As a black mom who cares about all children, I recognize that some of the problem also is, you know, poverty levels. Um, meeting children regardless of race where they are and getting them to proficiency levels and beyond. Both North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and Attorney General Josh Stein, who is looking to take over the governor's office, have denounced Republican programs for private school vouchers. According to Governor Cooper, private schools threaten systems and bring issues like segregation and funding cuts to public schools. GOP candidate for superintendent of public instruction and panel member Michelle Morrow finds the opportunity the opposite. We cannot leave our children in failing schools where they're not safe and they're not getting the services, they're not getting the education they need. But I think that school choice and having those options only makes everything better. Moms of Color says this is not their last discussion on the topic, and they hope to expand chapters throughout the state. Reporting in Greensboro, Bailey Stamos, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.